Go. Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, here I have an MP, an M7, and an M6 Leica film cameras. The thing about them is they are all very similar in that they share a similar mechanism in determining the light exposure when you take an image. Uh, so I have removed the lens of the MP and you can see immediately there's a white spot inside. So if you imagine the light coming through the lens, uh, it will hit the shutter curtain. The white spot receives the image and it reflects the light into a sensor that it is hidden along the edge of the Leica cameras. So this sensor is directed to the white spot and it determines the light exposure value and therefore it will tell you the settings for you to get the right exposure. One of the misconceptions is people think that these Leica cameras are spot meters. But if you look at the surface area of the white spot in relation to the frame of the photo, it occupies around two thirds of the height of the frame. So it is not a spot meter, per se, but more like a center weighted metering system. And this is why the image that you get out of using these cameras, if you trust the metering, is pretty spot on. Um, and this technology has been there since the M6. It gone into M7, which also has the auto exposure, well, the aperture priority mode, and then it got carried over to MP. Since films are so expensive these days, you really want to nail your exposures properly. So having a Leica camera with the typical traditional mechanism of an M3, coupled with modern technology of light metering, uh, you will be very pleased with the results uh, from your film.